Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing economic strategy game Oligopoly. game features a tutorial along with three campaigns uh, that have a couple of missions in each one, and a sandbox mode. Uh, there's no random maps uh, in the game, and as you can hear, uh, very annoying sound effects. Uh, so you get five maps, I'll just pick, I don't even know, I'll pick this one, doesn't really matter just to show off the game mechanics. So as with uh, most economic uh, strategy games, what you want to do is collect resources. You then manufacture those resources into goods and then sell the goods to make a profit. Um, so the basics of the game are there and actually there's some pretty sophisticated um, production chains in the game which I'll show off. Uh, but there are some issues definitely as you'll see uh, when we play. Uh, the main one of which is uh, game balance. So, as soon as this loads up, we'll show that off. Alright, so in the sandbox mode, uh, you get unlimited money. Uh, and the game is also like super laggy for the first period of time, I guess while it's loading in RAM or something. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to find areas that you can harvest natural resources. And all of these are these kind of circular areas. Uh, which are usually not in the same spot, uh, obviously, to make things more difficult. And then transport those to factories, use the factories to manufacture goods that you can then sell to all these people, and then eventually the towns will grow up and stuff like that. Um, most likely, since this is sandbox, there's... No, well, I'm not going to do iron ore over there, so... Uh, there's probably a pretty good amount of land. You know, there's actually an area where I could do meat, eggs, and fish. So I'll actually probably do it over here. Uh, so we will do that. So we're going to create some farms first. Uh, so, over in this area. So you go to the build menu, you go to the farms. So I'm going to build three farms. Each farm does not have to be on a road, and it can only collect one good. So in this area I'm going to do a medium warehouse. It highlights in red if it's within range. Uh, and then you have to click on each thing and then select uh, what you want it to collect. So we'll do meat and milk and eggs. But again, only one thing uh, to do. Now you can change uh, you know, what the capacity limit is if you want. Uh, although it's just, just as good just to make more uh, you know, farms and stuff like that. So they'll, they'll continue to produce that stuff. And then what I want to do is I'm going to sell that stuff in a supermarket. A uh, supermarket can sell raw meat, eggs, and milk that don't have to be processed, but I can also do additional stuff. So I can actually, with my eggs and my milk, I can make bread if I also collect wheat and then sell that at the supermarket. So I'm going to put the supermarket in this town. Any uh, houses highlighted in green are in range of it. So there we go. I will also need to build a warehouse here. And then I need to get all my goods from this warehouse to that warehouse. So I'm going to extend my road out to there and then I'm gonna just do a vehicle fleet because this is not very uh, long of a path so I'm gonna put a vehicle fleet within range of that warehouse and a vehicle fleet in range of that warehouse and then you close that you choose the little routes make a new transportation route alright so do a route from there I'm going to have it collect uh, meat, and then it will take it there. Uh, and then you define how many vehicles, so I'm going to have three vehicles do it. Uh, and then I'm going to create another route, which is going to do the milk, and another three vehicles there. And then I'm going to do another route, which I shouldn't have closed that window, but because the trucks can only do one thing at a time, and I will have them do the eggs. So they will, as you can see, they shuttle them along the roads there. Uh, and then take them over here and then they'll automatically get sold at the supermarket. And that's basically it. Now as you uh, saw, there's more sophisticated stuff. Wheat is actually in the same area, so I'm actually going to build a wheat farm. So, wheat farm doesn't have to be on the road, so there, I'm going to make that be Oh, uh, did I put that out? Dang it. 
I did put that outside. Put it outside of the range. That's what I get for not paying attention. So we need it inside the range. And I can do weak arrows. Okay, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see the factories here. So there's my food factory, which I can use to make my bread. So I'm just going to put it over here. And then have it do bread. Again, you can only do one thing. So it's going to do bread, but, uh, you know, you'll have to wait for it to get collected over there. And then I'm going to make another route to carry bread uh, from there to there. So there's my bread. And we'll do two vehicles. So now I just have, see, so it's making the bread right now because it grabbed the stuff from the surrounding stuff and then it's going to sell it. Uh, and then that's basically it. You know, there's more, there's actually a pretty good amount of uh, stuff. This is your, uh, all the buildings here. So you can have like a semiconductor factory, which uh, makes stuff out of, uh, makes circuit boards out of copper and plastic. But then the plastic is made from crude oil. Uh, and then the copper... Uh, has to be made from uh, copper ore in the metallurgy thing. So you can see there's pretty sophisticated uh, production chains, which are pretty entertaining, to be honest. I can actually make a burger if I can grow some tomatoes. I might actually do that. That can be sold over here. Actually, where is that? I think that's actually sold at a fast food restaurant. Yeah, at the restaurant right there. So I can make... I have bread. So I can see if I can get tomatoes. I can get tomatoes, so I will build a tomato farm within range of this thing. So tomatoes. Are. All right, so there's tomatoes, and then I'm going to build a uh, what? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this to use the bread, meat, tomato. Build another food factory and build burgers. And then I will sell that to my restaurant, which I want in range of that thing. And then I will set up a production thing there. I want you to bring burgers, please. If I can, there it is. And I'll just do one. So I think that'll be enough. Um, and there we go. So these guys are manufacturing way. You can speed up time. Because I've actually only, only done a month. So as soon as the icon appears, you know, they're, they're cranking away. The trucks are taking all the stuff. And everything looks really good. Uh, so we're going to let this run for a little bit. You know, and there's lots of other, uh, other things you can build, too. You know, electronics, hardware. You can do, like, Christmas trees. Uh, hammers from steel and wooden planks, and then all the components uh, for those things in the different factories and stuff. So, I mean, there's a pretty good amount of stuff that you can do. Uh, you know, you have mines to collect all the little, you know, iron stuff, the jacks for crude oil and stuff like that. Uh, the problem is, and here's the problem, i got to wait two months. So there it goes. Uh, the problem is uh, you don't make enough money to uh, play the game. And I think you would admit that I did a pretty decent job setting up uh, this production. Everything is pretty much producing all the time. The trucks are taking the stuff to uh, the warehouse. You know, this is a fair. This is an easy chain where a lot of the raw foods are just going straight to the supermarket. You know, uh, uh, you know, you have the prices here. Uh, uh, where I make the profit off of. So let's wait to the end of the month and then you'll see. The problem has to do with balance. And the problem in the game, it costs way m more money to make things than it does to sell things. So it's impossible to make money in the game. I've not been able to do it. In the, uh, the campaign scenarios where you have a budget and you have a limited amount of money, um, you just run out of money, and then you can't build anything more because you're always in the red. So I made two million at my uh, factory there, but look, my net profit is still 1.6 million below zero. So I'm still losing money every month because my manufacturing and my production costs outpace my revenue. You know, my revenue is 2.2, but then my production costs match it, which is insane. You know. 
Like, how are you supposed to be making enough money to start out? So what inevitably happens in every single campaign scenario is the campaign scenarios basically limit the amount of resources and buildings you can build, is that you place your first couple things, and then you just go in the red and you lose. Uh, so I haven't been able to advance past any of the introductory scenarios at any difficulty level because of the way that the balance is in the game. And that's really what's what's uh, ruining it. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm still in the negatives, even though I have a fairly decent, short uh, production line that's producing all these goods, uh, you know, to the restaurant and all that stuff. So that's the issue. It's it's balance. Uh, it just costs too much, um, and that's the problem with the game. Uh, you know, it's not a great game otherwise. Uh, there's also some other issues if you were to. Uh, build a rail network. You also have um, boats because you can build a uh, freight. Uh, if you were to build railroads, your railroads cannot actually cross any roads at all. <laughs> so you have to make sure all of your railroads are interior of any regular roads, which is insane. Like, can you imagine trying to? So you basically have to build all your railroads outside of all the roads or bulldoze all the roads. You know what I mean? So, like, that's that's crazy uh, that that's, uh, you know, what uh, a limitation there is. <laughs> um, you know, in addition to that, uh, you know, just the fact that you can't make money, uh, you know, I'm slowly gaining it, but at this point you're out of the game. You know, you're still... Um, you know, your production costs are going down a little bit, but, uh, your transportation, all that stays the same. So, you know, you're still running in the rain. You've, you've basically lost. You can't build anything else when you're in debt. Um, and that's it. That's the game. So, despite the fact that there actually are some pretty interesting, uh, production chains, uh, in the game, the poor balance, uh, really ruins it. The, the cost to manufacture your goods outpaces the amount of money you can charge for them uh, and makes it so that you just will run out of money too quick and then can't do anything. Um, and that's that's the problem with the scenarios. Obviously in the sandbox mode you don't have to worry about that so you can kind of do it and it's more enjoyable there uh, but when you're running into you know the campaign missions uh, you know it's not possible there overall this game is not as enjoyable as say rise of industry which is a very similar game where you're collecting and manufacturing resources and then selling them uh, you know this is kind of uh, it's rough around the edges as well like uh, as exemplified by the uh, the railroad issues um, so you know it's not just the balance that's that's the problem uh, but I do like the uh, different uh, numbers of goods and a fairly sophisticated production chains that you have. But again, the game is held back uh, by the balance of economics between what it costs to make stuff and what you can sell it for. Uh, so, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.